So the question is telling you as an object is placed in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature this much. Okay, so radius of curvature has been given to you. And in the video lecture, we denote it as capital R. Okay. So this is the object distance. That means U. These two values has been given to you, and they had asked you that determine the case among A and B in which the image is magnified virtual and direct. So when you had watched the lecture, when we ask about magnified virtual and direct, in case of concave mirror, there is only one case, and that case is when object is placed between focus and pole. So what will be the focus distance? Focus distance will be 15 centimeter divided by 2, that is 7.5 centimeter. That means the object, the object should be between 0 to 7.5 centimeter. This is the criteria. Okay, and there is only one case which has been mentioned that is B1. Okay, so option D only contains case number B. That's why D will be your correct answer. So this question was very easy and it can be solved within 5 seconds. After reading the question, only 5 seconds is required. Find the focal length of a convex lens of focal length 50 centimeter in contact with a concave lens of focal length 40 centimeter. Also find the correct lens system. See, if you had watched the lecture, then I had told you one very important thing that there can be a combination of lenses and those lenses can be possibility that these lenses can be in direct contact or there can be a, some distance between both the lenses. So in that event, we had studied the application of microscope, telescope, compound microscope. Okay, so in those cases, there is a distance between two lenses. So when you calculate the equivalent power or equivalent focal length, then it is somewhere different. But here they had told both the lenses are in contact and both are of different nature. Okay, so if both are in contact, then the distance between both the lens will become zero. Right. And the final formula, okay, the final because they had asked you the focal length only. So the final equivalent focal length will be nothing 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2 minus distance upon f1 f2 so this formula i had already told you majorly what happens student only use this much okay they don't remember the part which is related to the distance between the lenses this is again very important okay this is also important for ai they had not, not asked till now, but this can be framed in any of the upcoming years. So that is again important. So if suppose they had mentioned that this is the distance between both the lenses, in that case, what will be the equivalent focal length of the combination of lenses? In that case, you will include that particular term also. So right now, why we are not including? Because both the lenses are in contact. That's why this particular term will be directly equal to 0. And now, while calculating 1 upon f equivalent, what we will be doing? Convex lens. So, for convex lens, we consider our focus. We had used the sign convention. For convex lens, the focus will be positive. So, 1 upon 50 centimeter plus 1 upon, this is concave lens. It is having focal length of 40 centimeters. So, this is a diverging lens. So, that's why we consider it as minus 40 okay the, according to our sign convention the focus of concave lens is taken as negative okay so this will be the simple calculation and simply you can take uh, the lcm 40 into 50 and this will be nothing this will be 40 and this will become minus 50 and this will be nothing one upon f equivalent will be this will be minus 10 divided by 2000 this will be there and minus 1 upon 200 so f equivalent will be equal to minus 200 
centimeter. This is important. Why important? Because negative sign is there. So this negative sign, we had considered the focus or the focal length as negative for converging or diverging lens. So for diverging lens and that diverging lens was your concave lens. Okay, so the equivalent is actually a concave lens only and this represents the diverging nature of that lens. So that's why these two options can never be possible. Only option A and C is possible. So from the magnitude, you can directly see that option A is correct. So again, this was a very easy question, but still I can tell you that there can be uh, many more cases which are possible in this particular topic, which can be asked in AI in all upcoming patterns. So that I had included in the video lecture and some few tricky questions I had mentioned in the assignment questions also. And rest test series will be, of course, of good level. You can practice rest of the things from there. Okay. Now, next question. A parallel plate capacitor made of circular plate, each of radius R equal to 6 centimeter has a capacitance of this. Okay. So, circular plate is there and parallel plates are there. Okay. And every parallel plate has radius this much. Capacitance has been mentioned. The capacitor is connected to this one and uh, supply with an frequency of this. So, what will be the RMS value of the conduction current? This is again very good quality of question which has been asked. Whenever if you had watched the lecture directly, I had given you this is like directly formula based question, frankly speaking. Okay, this is not this is directly formula based question. What you can do, I had given you the formula of IRMS for in case of capacitance. Okay, they are in parallel, of course, they are connected to this AC supply, and for that, every will have the same current. So, directly you can write it like it is simply like uh, when you represent current by simply Ohm's law, then that current is nothing. This is V by R. But right now we are talking about capacitance. So that's why in the denominator resistance will not come. It will be capacitive reactance which is represented by Xc. That will be IRMS in case of this one. Okay. So voltage it has been given. AC voltage is there divided by capacitive reactance is given by 1 upon omega c omega that frequency has been already given to you so that is 320 i'm i'm writing it here what is the value of this the value of this is 1 upon omega c which is again very easy you don't need to unnecessarily get panic here so directly 1 upon it will be 320 into capacitance they had mentioned as 100 picofarad okay so 100 picofarad pico means 10 to the power minus 12 Okay, so directly when you will be solving it, you will be getting like 230 into 320 into 100 into 10 to the power minus 12. And of course, it is current, so that's why the answer will be ampere. 101020, total 40, 40. When you get cancelled out with this minus 12, this will simply become minus 8. This will become minus. 8 and 23 into 32 23 into 32 so this will be 6 9 and 4 it will be 3 and uh, carry 1 so 3 to 6 and 7 736 so 736 into 10 to the power minus 8 ampere the question has been given in the format of 7.36 so that's why what we will be doing 7.36 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere and minus 6 is nothing micro so that's why 7.36 micro ampere will be your direct answer. So I hope again this question was very easy. There is nothing to like think much about this particular question. If you remember the formulas and concept which I had taught you in the lectures, that will be more than enough to solve 95% of the question. The only thing students actually lag is they don't want to like uh, you know practice 
from the test series and from the assignment question. They are like, sir, we had bought the lecture. We are having enough confidence. Now we can solve each and every part. See, even after watching the lectures, I know you might gain a very good level of confidence. But the time you will not apply the, uh, that theories on the questions by your own, till the time you will not be able to identify that where exactly you are making the mistake. And you have to only correct your mistakes. I will not correct your mistakes. Okay, so that's why at least I will tell you to stick to the test series and assignment which I am giving to you that will include all the 360 degrees possibilities of a particular topic which can be asked in your AI examination. I hope you might have got this particular thing. In the very next video, we, I will be discussing some more physics questions. Let's see.